Lord Gislaine, sir. Another village has succumbed. Then you know what must be done. Gather them into the holding pens, the fit and the infirm alike. Both will be of use to us. Is that wise in this downpour, sir? Some of the inhabitants have grown quite frail. The march of progress ever demands new feet to walk it. There can be no tests without subjects, and those unwilling to sacrifice will never know the sublime beauty of discovery. I assure you, I wouldn't complain were a few pitiful souls to perish in transit either. Sir Baltro. Come to glean more corpses, have you? Take what you will. We've enough rotting flesh to satisfy even your ravenous want for death. Though, not for long, perhaps. This may be the final slew I'm able to offer. And the experiments are proving successful. That's not for you to know. Now, have you come to collect? Or do you simply wish to interrogate us instead? <laughs> Neither. Those who defy Zenoira's rule draw close to your lands. His Majesty would see them tossed like all the rest upon your mountains of carrion. The rebels? Here? No. I've come too far to let my work fall unfinished. You've little need to worry. My men are yours to command in the battle ahead. A welcome gift, and one I'll gladly accept. Tatiana, stay here and ensure the experiments continue as scheduled. Yes, my lord. Guards, rally the defenses. We depart anon. <sighs> Gislaine has completed the cure, has he? It was only a matter of time, but with all the vital support I've thrown at his back. Your hubris knows no bounds, wretch. One as revolting as you is unfit to stand in the company of Lord Gislaine. Only by his word have I let your presence go unimpeded. Now go. Gather the dead and be quit of this manner before you drain my patience any further. <laughs> Service of the royal family. The day will be ours. I ride for Cornea. What would you ask? As you wish. I'm ever in your service. I depart. The time is at hand. Onward. I'll not fail you. Awaiting your command. Very well. Your orders, sir. Gaze upon the face of your demise. What 
would you ask? By your word. What shall I do? We march. The path is set. I'll prove my worth. It shall be done. Hmm. Come. We rise. You're mine. As you wish. I'm here, Your Highness. You face me. grows ever sharper. Well thought. The time is at hand. To me. I'm ever in your service. A test for my magic. Ready. Don't worry. Gaze upon the face of your demise. There's always more to learn. See, Chloe? Just I keep can do getting stuff. tougher. I've not chosen my grave yet. What would you ask? By your word. Your villainy ends here. ever closer what shall I do yeah <clears throat> onward hoist the banners I shall hold nothing back <laughs> together as <is> one <laughs> <laughs> Say the word. I'm on my way. We march. The time is at hand. The path is set. What utter luck. I'll prove my worth. It shall be done. Your orders, please. I'm heading there now. Come. Me 
yet. A trivial undertaking. Ready. Don't worry. Now then. Gaze upon the face of your demise. We ride! Be healed. I got you! Glory to the liberation! For the liberation. I've arrived. What should I do? As you command. Come. Just leave it to Lex. Never doubt a death. I've not chosen my grave yet. The time is at hand. I'll show you what a witch can do. It'll be done. To me. The time is at hand. Simply say the word. Awaiting your command. I'll not fail you. I'm ever in your service. We march. The path is set. I'm here, Your Highness. Come then. I'm here. I'll brook no interference, rebel curs. my worth. I shall never fail. shall I do? I'll prove my worth. It shall be done. I'll show you what a witch can do. I'm on my way. You face me. You have my aid. I presume you're the ghastly lord responsible for this plague and its death-strewn offensive. You would accuse me? 
of diffusing such evil through my own lands. Me, who at last stands on the precipice of seeing it eradicated once and for all. <laughs> A shame. I'd hoped <clears throat> to welcome the occasion myself one day. But I suppose that honor falls to Tatiana now. At long last, my love, I come to join you once more. Another corpse for the pine, huh? What? A fortuitous thing, that. Were his cure made manifest, all my hard work spreading this pestilence would be for naught. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> Orders, please. Wherever you'd like me. I'm heading there now. What shall I do? I depart. How shall I proceed? To me. Simply say the word. Don't worry. Tis ours now. I'm ever in your service. Yeah. Your orders, please. Sir. I await your next orders. Ready. It'll be done. Awaiting your command. As you wish. <clears throat> Onward. Here I am. Prepare yourselves. Wherever you'd like me. As you command. What shall I do? I depart. The time is at hand. The path is set. I'll show you what a witch can do. Thanks. I'll not fail you. Very well. I shall never fail. What should I do? Sir! I'll prove my worth. It shall be done. They <sighs> seek my head. I shall hold nothing back. Together as one! I am with you! Stand. Nope! You're done for! I fight in me yet! What would you ask? By your word. Ready. Don't worry. Gaze upon the face of your demise. Be healed. The battle is won! 
Keep getting sharper. For the liberation. Awaiting your command, as you wish. I'm ready to fight. Please, as you command. What shall I do? I depart. We march. To me. I have arrived. Good. I've reached my destination. Your orders. Wherever you'd like me. Sir! What would you ask? The time is at hand. Like you asked. Come then. I'm here. grows ever closer. We march. The path is set. Yeah. Now then. I'll show you what a witch can do. It'll be done. I'm ever in your service. Awaiting your command. What should I do? I'm heading there now. <laughs> the time is at hand. To me. An excellent find. I've arrived. We march. The time is at hand. I'll prove my worth. Ready. I'm on my way. What would you ask? Yes. This is the place. Yes. Your villainy ends here. Let's see what your... You face me. Your fate is sealed. Which can do. I'll not fail you. Simply say the word. Don't worry. Here I am. Stand before me. Your villainy ends here. Time is at hand. I'll show you what a witch can do. What shall I do? Wherever you'd like me. 
Officer! Your orders, please. Won't let you down. Let's see what you're capable of. Yield to me. Yeah. Was that it? See, Chloe? I can my do stuff yet. What should I do? The time is at hand. Onward. Ready. It'll be done. I'm ever in your service. It shall be done. You're this is the place. You face me. You have my aid. I'll preserve this place and our research with my very life. Be careful. Yeah. ever closer I've depleted my magic Lord Jislain how could you take him from me have you found horrors taking form my prince the jail is rife with corpses of the townsfolk in every which corner likely victims of the plague tell our men to stay well clear of its walls but of course rumors speak of your lord using his own people for dark experiments into the plague that sweeps this land what say you that you're a band of benighted fools if you believe such tripe Come on, Elaine. There's only one way to find out what he was up to. We've got to search the manor. You won't disturb Lord Jeslaine's research. Not while I still draw breath. Then perhaps you'd be willing to serve as our guide instead. Tell us everything that's transpired here, Tatiana. Please. This manor is where Lord Jeslaine conducted his research. You know... I was expecting some kind of horrible monster under that mask. Turns out you're just a regular girl. It was years ago that this horrific illness first emerged, swept through our populace like the fiercest wildfire. Lord Jeslaine's wife was among the victims. He was never quite the same after that. So intense was his contempt for the plague, he made it his sole mission in life to find the cure. Even if it meant enlisting the services of a monstrous necromancer. And thus, Gislaine victimized his own people for his experiments, then proffered their vacant bodies before this necromancer. You misjudge him. My lord studied every method, every medicine in his quest to rid the world of this plague. 
Absent a clear answer, he had little choice but to craft hypotheses and pursue them to their natural conclusions. No solution could be discarded without explicit proof of its faults, nor could any be affirmed as truly effective. Such excuses are lost on the dead. Their sacrifices were not in vain. You imply he found a cure? Not completely. The texts he was given were rife with half-truths and outright lies alike. But the seed is there. And it can grow, if you only let me water it. Please, the answer is finally within arm's reach. Hmm. A cure would be most welcome indeed, were this disease to befall our army. Though, should it mean allowing such ignominious research to continue unabated? What say you, my prince? You have my trust, Tatiana. Take up the duty Gislaine held so dear and see it through to the very end. <sighs> what about the rumors? Buying into this thing's not gonna reflect on us too good. We meet them head on. As long as the sick are treated with dignity and honor, that tide will turn. In the end, these studies are meant to benefit all who call Feverth home. If he was even half the man you claim, that was Lord Gislaine's intention from the very beginning. Am I to face no sentence? Our enemy here is Zenoira, not you. You only mean to shackle me in their stead. The liberation exists to grant freedom, not oppress the downtrodden further. In that case, I'd like to exercise my freedom to join you on that journey. What about your cure? To be candid with you, it's almost finished. Enough so that I needn't stay here myself. My men should be more than capable of handling the rest. As for me, I'll take this opportunity to walk beside the men who robbed this world of Lord Gislaine's grace. To see what ideals he chooses to fight, and ultimately to die for. And... When that moment inevitably arrives, to be the one to sound the death knell myself. Come on, only an idiot would let you- Very well then. Should have known that was coming. Be warned, you may be awaiting my death a great many years. That, and you'll be expected to earn your keep in the meantime. Welcome to the liberation, Tatiana.